In this video, I'll be talking about genes, what they are, their job in the body, and how changes in genes can sometimes lead to disease. Our body is made up of millions of cells. Our genetic information, also called our DNA, is found in the nucleus of these cells. This genetic information is packaged onto chromosomes. Each chromosome can be further unraveled and on each strand of DNA there contain thousands of genes. Genes are the instruction that tell our body how to develop, grow, and work properly. Our genes are what determine our blood type, eye color, along with other things. So our DNA is written out with four different letters that act to spell out our genes. So these letters are A, C, T, and G. As we are not all identical, the letters that make up each of our genes are not identical either. We each have small variations in our DNA that can lead to differences in us. For example, as we can see here, a variation in the lettering of this gene can cause some people to be taller than others. Genes are passed down from parents to children, and this is called inheritance. We all have two copies of every gene. Usually we receive one copy from our mother and one copy from our father. So here we'll show our mother having two copies of one gene in blue and our father having two copies of the same gene in green. And what we can see is that we receive one copy from our mother and one copy of a gene from our father. And which copy of each gene that is passed down is completely random, and therefore inheritance is also random. Some changes, sometimes called spelling mistakes or gene variants, can cause our genes not to work properly. So what we can see here is that in the top variation, we have a properly functioning gene. However, in the bottom, when there's a spelling mistake, we can see that this causes the gene not to work properly. If a gene involved in the development of the heart muscle or heart's electrical system contains such a spelling mistake, this can sometimes lead to inherited rhythm conditions. Most inherited heart rhythm conditions follow an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern. This means that if a person has a spelling mistake in one copy of the gene, they will show signs of a heart rhythm condition. We will show this spelling mistake or variant with an X. So if one parent here has two copies of the gene, one with a spelling mistake, and the other parent has two copies of the same gene without this spelling mistake or variant, what we can see here is that their children would have a 50% chance of inheriting this gene with this spelling mistake or a 50% chance of inheriting a heart rhythm condition. So these children here would do not have the copy of the gene variant, so therefore are not able to potentially pass down this inherited heart rhythm to their children. But as these children have received a copy of this gene variant, they are potentially able to pass down this gene variant 
to their children. Sometimes a blood test can be done to find these spelling mistakes. In this test, cells from our blood that contain our DNA are examined. And we specifically look for spelling mistakes in genes that we know are important and that may be the cause of inherited heart rhythm conditions.